Welcome to a new episode of English Podcast of the Foreign Language Teaching and Resource Center at NTU. I'm your host, Ben. Today, we're diving into a pressing news event that has gripped the attention of many across the globe. As we unfold the details, we hope to convey the gravity of the situation while providing insight into the current affairs that are reshaping lives and land alike. So, let's jump straight into it. Taipei, the vibrant capital of Taiwan, experienced a jolt that was felt island-wide on a rather tranquil Wednesday. This tremor, however, was no ordinary shake. It announced the arrival of a major earthquake, marking a magnitude of 7.4 off Taiwan's scenic eastern coast. Now, imagine being just 18 kilometers south of Hualien City, where the quake's epicenter was identified. It wasn't just a subtle shaking, but a powerful reminder of our planet's shifting mood. Residents across the island can attest to its far-reaching tremble. Preliminary damage reports paint a scene of disrupted lives with houses tilted off their foundation in Hualien County. The footage pouring in tells stories of resilience, people helping neighbors to safety through apartment windows, military personnel leaping into action to aid in disaster relief, and the inevitable suspension of daily life as aftershocks continue to punctuate the trauma. But the ripple effects go beyond the ground shaking. Taiwan's Central Weather Administration responded swiftly, issuing a tsunami warning where high ground became a refuge against the ominous threat of the sea. This warning extended, with the seas between Taiwan and Japan bracing with anticipative fear. Even southern Japanese islands, with their own history of battling nature's fervor, were warned of waves climbing up to an impressive three meters. All eyes were on the skies, too, as flights from Okinawa and Kagoshima perfected grounded to a halt. It's not without reason. This earthquake was the most forceful since one 25 years ago that brought indelible loss. Overlaying this current event, we're reminded of Taiwan's geographical identity, a crucial piece of the Pacific Ring of Fire, a space that, while nurturing stunning natural beauty, often exacts a formidable toll through quakes and volcanoes that reshape its vistas and its communities. Not forgetting Hualien County, it's a place not just of homes and hearts, but also the abode of the breathtaking Taroko Gorge, a location where nature's artistry is typically celebrated, now facing the aftermath of its fury. As we watch and wait for updates, know that our thoughts extend to the individuals facing these challenging times. In times like these, the community and courage often shine the brightest, and our hopes are with all those affected. We will, of course, keep you up to date as this story develops, but for now, that brings us to the end of today's episode. Thank you for tuning in to the English podcast of the Foreign Language Teaching and Resource Center at NTU. We hope that despite the distressing nature of today's content, you've gained insight into the raw power of nature and the resilience of the human spirit. Stay safe, take care, and join us again for the next episode as we bring more global stories into our shared space of learning and reflection. Goodbye for now.